A Colonel Blotto game is a game where two players distribute materials between objects in hopes of winning the most objects. The most popular analogy is treating it as a model for battle, where players distribute soldiers between battlefields. More soldiers in a battlefield means that you win the battlefield, and the player who wins the most battlefields wins the battle. As usual, I wrote code to be able to experiment and tinker with this game, but I'm missing the most crucial aspect, the strategies for my colonels will employ. I started with two strategies, the lazy colonel will just deposit each soldier into a random battlefield. Meanwhile, our other colonel will will consider that in this game, soldiers in a losing battlefield will be wasted. Therefore, the selective colonel will select a random battlefield and won't deposit any soldiers into it. I ran 1000 games between these two colonels where they get 100 soldiers to distribute across 5 battlefields. It turns out the difference in strategies makes a huge difference. Ignoring draws, the lazy colonel only won 85 games whereas the selective colonel won 862. Trying to distribute uniformly across the battlefields is definitely not the right move. By willingly losing a battlefield, the selective colonel had more soldiers to throw into the rest of the battlefields to try win the majority of battles. Let's go even further. Simplified, the aim of the game is to win the slim majority of battlefields. In 5 battlefields, the slim majority means 3 battlefields. So we can select not just one battlefield to exclude, but up until only the slim majority of battlefields is left. Having tasted defeat and being motivated to implement the strategy, our lazy colonel has evolved into a prioritizing colonel. I ran another 1000 games with 100 soldiers and 5 battlefields. The prioritizing colonel won 773 games and the selective colonel only won 89 games. Let's make another better strategy strategy. Look at this example distribution from a prioritizing colonel. There's always some weakness in every distribution. Ideally, we would exploit the battlefields with zero troops by placing one soldier there, securing two wins. Now, despite having slightly less troops, we only need one win out of these three battlefields to win the game. So I created the smart colonel, which plays like the prioritizing colonel, but there's still a slim chance of depositing soldiers into the battlefields that would have been left with zero. This new strategy works wonders. I tested it against our prioritizing colonel, 1000 games, and the smart colonel won 567 and only only lost 296 games. This game was researched a lot after World War II and has been applied to military strategy, politics, and regular business. Hey, I declare war on you humans. Uh, I'm not the right person to discuss that with. Uh, ah, Colonel's help! They're just cold idiots. No! <laughs>